guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we will learn how to create a floor plan using a software that I'm sure everyone is familiar with, PowerPoint. So get your PowerPoint ready and let's begin. To start off, upload your floor plan into the PowerPoint working file. If you notice that your picture is not straight, you can download a scanner app in your phone to adjust the image. Resize the image if you must, and ensure that it's big enough for you to edit. Use shapes to draw the walls in the floor plan. This way, it is actually easier to adjust as compared to just purely drawing lines. Try not to use colors similar from the floor plan picture. This is to prevent confusion between the drawing and the image. So now, I'll be using this blue shade instead. Before you start drawing on the floor plan image, duplicate the slide so you'll be working on a new working slide. Let the duplicated file be your backup in case you make a mistake along the way. That way, you have small checkpoints that you can keep track of. Now start by drawing the exterior walls first. Once that is done, draw the interior walls. For the interior walls, Make the shape feel transparent to get this look. This wall shows you that it is hackable. However, this only works if this wall is surrounded by exterior walls. After drawing the walls, remember to duplicate the slide again so we can work on the revised floor plan. Use this new working slide to work on the revised floor plan. To remove walls, you need to check if the walls are shaded or not. You can only hack down walls that are unshaded. Those walls that are shaded are building structures so you're not allowed to remove them. As for the unshaded walls, you can remove them according to your preferences. To add doors, use the line name Arc. This line allows you to adjust how curved the arc is going to be. Change the line weight if you prefer the line to be thicker. You may skip this step if you're happy with how your door looks. This next step is to differentiate the door from the walls. The door has to be dotted so that you can understand that it is a door. It is also to minimize confusion during the process. After you're done with plotting the doors, label each room according to the floor plan. Labels are valuable because they immediately convey information about the room. You can also remove the picture of the original floor plan after you've duplicated the working slide. To avoid confusion, you may want to rename the slides in PowerPoint so you know which one is your working file. I like to have my working file on the first slide as it's easier to track my progress later on. Next, we are going to group some components together. This is to separate the different components of the floor plan such as the walls, furniture, or the labels. To group it together, select all the labels you want to be grouped together. Right-click and select Group. This allows you to move them simultaneously. I am going to group the walls together with the label at the side that I will name Floor Plan. And I will do the same for the labels, which I will name Labels. By doing this grouping, you can easily highlight or pick the areas that you want to work on later. Also, remember to duplicate the slides so you'll have a backup in case of any mistakes along the way. Your final working file should look something like this. So now that this step is done, we can start by adding in the furniture. But first, you'll need to have their measurements ready. If you found the furniture online, it will be easy to find their dimensions. But if you prefer those from the malls, remember to measure them and note them down somewhere so you can plot them into your floor plan here. By having their proper dimensions, your furniture plan will be more precise as compared to just estimating. Note down the furniture that you'd like to include in your home so you have a checklist to look back into during the process. Don't forget to group the furniture together with a label at the side that I will name Furniture. And there you have it, your very own furniture layout floor plan, made entirely through PowerPoint. Remember to comment down below to let us know how you feel about this video and what would you like to learn next. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when our next lesson would be. 
Thank you for watching. Bye.